Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World. And today we're in Sorrento, Italy for the five things you're gonna love and hate about visiting Italy. And I'm gonna start with the thing I love the most about Italy. It's the people. They are the most gregarious, outgoing, fun-loving, crazy people you'll meet when you travel. And the thing is, is it doesn't matter if you speak Italian or not, they're gonna talk to you. They're gonna communicate with you. They're gonna bring you into their culture. They're gonna let you know that this is the drink you should have and this is the restaurant you should go to and this is when you should go to the sites. Because honestly, the Italians are probably the most fun, fantastic people you will meet in the world. So make sure you go out and meet them and do a grazie and a prego and a ciao occasionally to warm them up to you so they're gonna show you a fantastic time. But honestly, for me, the people here in Italy make Italy the wonderful, amazing place it is. And that's why you're gonna love it. But the thing is, is there's also gonna be things you're gonna hate when you're here. And probably the biggest thing you're gonna hate as a tourist when you come here to Italy are all the scams at some of the tourist spots around there. The pickpockets by the Colosseum or the, the people that put the bracelets on you in Milan or just the, the petition scams in different places around the country. I mean, there are a lot of scams that happen here and pickpockets. and. It can be quite frustrating for travelers when you're like, I just wanna enjoy my vacation, not worrying about my wallet all the time. Now, you don't always have to do that, but when you're buying major tourist attractions in Italy, you really do need to pay attention. And that's one thing you just really are not gonna like when you are here. Now it's gotten better and the, the Carbonieri and the police will help you out if you get your stuff stolen. But my advice to you, if you notice your wallet is gone, track back the way you walked and look in the garbage can. Cause most of the time what they're doing is they're taking your wallet and they take out the cash and then they throw the wallet away. Cause cash could be from anybody, but if they have your driver's license, people know that, okay? So uh, they, they, they stole it. So those scams at major sites, that really, uh, that's something you're not gonna like when you're here. Now, the thing is though, the second thing you're gonna love when you come here is the cultural history of Italy. I mean, this is Italy. It's the home of Rome, the Roman Empire. And so you have that kind of history, but also you have the Renaissance from here as well. So whether you're going to Rome to see the Colosseum in the form, or you're going to the Vatican, and yes, I know the Vatican is a separate country, but it's it's in Rome, it's in Italy. We're gonna go with that, all right? And you're going to see that, or you're going to Venice and seeing the canals and going to Piazza San Marco, and you're going to see the gold inside the Basilica San Marco, or if you're going to Verona and seeing the arena there, or even seeing your know, touristy trappy stuff like Julia's balcony in Verona, there's so much cultural history when you're here. If you're here by Sorrento, you can go to the Amalfi Coast, which is just gorgeous. Or you can go to Pompeii and Herculaneum, which were destroyed and covered with ash during, you know, from Vesuvius in 79 days. You can re-see. I mean, there's so much cultural stuff you can see here that is just truly wonderful. And it doesn't matter what kind of culture you like. If you like food culture or dance culture or party culture or art culture or history culture, they've got it all when you're here. And that's what makes it so good is that you get so much cultural history when you come here. Whether you love Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo or Versace, they have it, okay? So do, do, do enjoy all the different culture when you are here. And that's something you're really, really gonna love. Now, something you're definitely not gonna love and probably the thing my wife hates the most when you come here is your occasional public toilet experiences. Now, a lot of the public toilets here in cafes, they're usually fine, however, when you're in Venice and you gotta pay to use the public toilets, or when you gotta go to a cafe and you gotta buy something to use the toilet, that can be a bit frustrating. But, but what really will get you sometimes is when you find that one cafe when you really gotta go and it's just a hole in the ground, well, a porcelain hole in the ground, and that, that might be a bit surprising. And, and I'm sure more than a few of you have had some unclean toilet experiences during your stops in Italy. So uh, my advice to you is make sure you use the services at your hotel or your bed and breakfast before you head out for the day, okay? Now I know it's weird to talk about this after we talk about public toilet experiences, but honestly, the third thing you're gonna love about coming to Italy is the food. I mean, this place has fantastic food. Yes, we all know the pasta and pizza, but honestly, from the salads to the meats to the desserts, there's so much great food here in Italy that you're gonna love. And the thing is, it's not just the food itself, like the taste you're gonna enjoy, it's the whole eating experience. Because when you go to eat in Italy, it's not just to go eat and mow down the food, it's there to go and enjoy your friends, enjoy your talking, enjoying your aperitivos, and enjoying your food and enjoying your friends. And it's just such a fantastic thing. And that's why when you come here, you should try the foods from the different regions because your eating experience here in Sorrento, you know, when you're having the seafood and you're having the gnocchi allo 
Sorrentina, right? Is going to be different than if you're up in the north in the Veneto region. You're having your bigoli with duck sauce and you're having, you know, gnocchi pastisada, the caval, you know, the horse ragu gnocchi that you can have in Verona. Yeah, it's going to be different wherever you go. But the thing is, the food is fantastic here. So no matter where you go, you want to eat the local food, whatever region you're in, whatever your city you're in. Ask them, what's something special from here? And just get that, okay? Whether it's the wine, whether it's the appetizer, whether it's the, the main courses, do that, okay? And don't get thrown off if you order a pasta and your friend orders a meat and the food doesn't come at the same time because that's a primi piatti. A first plate is pasta and a second plate is meat. So if you want them to come at the same time, please tell them, just bring it all at once and we'll be okay. Now, because of all the great food, and all this great cultural history that's here and all these fantastic sites and the wonderful people obviously a ton of tourists come here and that's why the third thing you're not gonna like when you come to Italy are the tourist hordes and I mean in the summer we're talking tourist hordes millions upon millions of people visit Italy because it's so wonderful so whether you're in Rome or Venice or Florence the big three they will always be packed all year round but even places like here in Sorrento in the summertime are completely packed in the summer. Or if you're going to Milan during fashion, I mean, this just this place just gets overrun with tourists. And so you do need to have a bit more patience, a bit more, your, your personal bubble needs to be a lot smaller when you're here too, just because of all the crowds and all these things. So if you wanna to try to avoid that, go to some of the not as popular places. Instead of doing Florence, do Luca. Instead of going to Rimini, go to Ravenna. Instead of doing staying in Venice, stay in Padua, Vicenza, or Verona to avoid some of those big crowds. But I'm going to tell you, you're not going to get away from them, okay? And, and another thing you might do to try to avoid some of the crowds is actually pre-book your tickets for trains, obviously planes, but museums, if you can do that, to sometimes have early entry, or at least you know the crowds won't buy up all the tickets, so you can't get into some of these things. But just know, it will never just be you when you're here in Italy, unless you're in some kind of smaller out of the way cities, okay, and towns. Now, the fourth thing you're gonna love when you come to Italy, and I've kind of alluded to this during the video, is just the variety you have when you come to Italy. The variety of the food, like I talked about before, the variety of cultural experiences when you're here, the variety of the people, but also the variety of the nature. I mean, if you're going to the mountains and go to the Dolomites, like Bolzano, it's a completely different experience than here in Sorrento on the Amalfi Coast. And if, and if you go up to Cinque Terre up by Genoa and see that, and then you go to Ravenna and see the Byzantine architecture there, I mean, you just have such a variety that if you like skiing, you can do that. If you want to hit the beach, you can do that. If you want to do culture, you can do that. If you want to do food, you want to do that. You can, if you want to just ride a Vespa around and have fun, you can do that. You want to see ancient history. You can go to Paestum just down the way from here. Go to Sicily and see the Valley of the Temples. I mean, there's so much variety for people to do and see when you're here. That's why this is a great place for all ages because there's something for everybody when you're here and that's why you're gonna love it and i know that's a love but also i gotta talk about something that no matter where you are in italy will frustrate you and that is italian time management look this is not one of those places where you're on time okay people will say let's meet at 7 yeah 7 15 7 30 yeah that's fine they'll show up when they show up and it can be a bit frustrating if you're from a place that they said well they said they'd be here at eight so it's eight o'clock, why aren't they already here? Look, you, you, you gotta know that time is really relative here in Italy, so just think Italian time, okay? Can, and that will help you out with your patience and, and knowing that it takes a little bit longer to get your you know, menu and get your drinks, but that's just the way it is here, and that's okay. Now, the fifth thing you love when you come here, and actually I think it's one of the religions here in Italy, is aperitivo time. So aperitivo is dinner drinks when you meet up with your friends, and it'll be different drinks you have throughout the country. If you're in Milan, you might have a, a Negrona Sogliato, and if you're in, in Venice, you'll have a, a Spritz Select, or if you're in Vicente, you have a Spritz Aperol, which everybody loves, or, or here in Sorrento, they love their Limoncello Spritz, it's a new thing, and, and you have these drinks, and you have a drink, and what's cool is, they always have a little snack to go along with it. So you're sitting there having a drink, having a snack, enjoying your time here, sitting back and taking in the people and the architecture and just everything. And one thing I love about aperitivo time is this is your chance to actually get to meet some of the Italians. The people sitting at the table next to you, oh, what did you get? What are you drinking? What are you having? What do you recommend? It's one of those great times that really brings people together when you're here. And for the Italians, it truly is a religion. It's part of life. So if you're here, you gotta go enjoy aperitivo time. And I'm gonna finish on some bad stuff and probably the thing that's going to annoy you the most and upset you the most when you're here and that is the trains in Italy. 
yes, you will probably hate and curse some of the trains sometimes for various reasons. You know, if you're on the Freccia, the fast trains, they're actually usually on time. That's why in my shots, I've been like, the trains are on time because I was taking the Freccias, okay? But if you're not taking the Freccias, you're taking other trains. Expect delays, expect misconnections, expect super hot trains. If you're coming here to Sorrento from Naples, you take the Circum Vesuvio, which is a local train, which is packed. Everyone's got their bags and it's just hot, sweaty, just yeah, messy nastiness. And it just gets frustrating sometimes. So if you're gonna be doing the trains here, if you're doing the Freccias and you got like the quick connections, you should be okay. But if you're taking a regionale or a, a veloce regionale, the faster regional trains, or especially if you take an EC train, like a train that's coming from Munich or something like that, those do get late quite often. And so the connections might be a bit different. So you might want to plan your train routes accordingly, because it might be a bit frustrating. But overall, I think you will love your time here in Italy. The people are wonderful. The food's wonderful. Everything that's here is for you to enjoy. And I hope you'll come and enjoy whether you're riding around in a Vespa or you're enjoying the, the spaghetti al vongole when you're here. Do love your time here in Italy, because I know I've always loved it. But I know you will too. And I'll say bye from here in Sorrento.